Black Friday promises deals, and if past years are any indication, more than a few scuffles. But this year, holiday shopping's unofficial kickoff comes just weeks after a highly coveted coat landed at the center of a widely publicized shooting at a Manhattan ice rink, the latest in a series of crimes mixing blood and brands. If people are killing over clothing, it's a very serious problem, and in fact, people are killing over clothing. For the brand, it's a potential nightmare. It's terrifying as a brand person. You never completely have control, but you have to be careful too because um, the brand can go in directions that you don't expect. Case in point, Marmot, the maker of the parka involved in the shooting, a nearly $700 coat known as the Biggie, at the center of previous violent crimes. Online videos capture the divide between a brand's intent he run it, he run it. and where it ends up. This YouTube clip filed under How to Steal a Biggie. You want people to want you, that's absolutely true, and you just don't, you never conceive that this could be the, the outcome. There's a number of name brand items for which that want has sometimes turned violent. Apple's gadgets are increasingly a target for theft. According to police, one-fifth of all crimes in New York City last year involved an Apple product. The granddaddy of them all? Nike's Air Jordans, a product still targeted in violence the company has long condemned. We always say, I never thought it would happen to my family. Well, it has happened to my family. Daisy Williamson was gunned down in his car just after buying the hard-to-find shoes last year. After his death, she started the Life Over Fashion campaign to pressure Nike to turn down the heat. Give the store more quantity of the shoe. Make it to where, if I can't get it today, I can go tomorrow and get it. It's a debate what companies can and should do to address the violence. If you're doing these events to introduce something new and cool, can you manage it in such a way that you create desirability, which is what brand, any brand wants, without making it dangerous? The one store that sold the Marmot Biggie in Manhattan pulled the last remaining coat from its racks following the shooting. There's a balance here. I think corporate responsibility and corporate accountability is very, very important. But we cannot let the crime problem absolutely suppress the free market. In the midst of this year's holiday doorbusters, there are steps consumers can take to protect themselves. It's more about being street smart than it is about totally altering our behavior. Nobody should stay off the streets, nobody should stay out of the subways, people should wear what they want, but just be smart about it. These products aren't worth dying for. It's just a material object. You can go buy another coat, you can get another iPhone, you can get another pair of sneakers. It's not that important. Alexander Trowbridge, CBSNews.com.